Member for Burnaby North. Uh, thank you, Speaker. And uh, thank you to the member opposite uh, for reminding us uh, and never letting us forget that our health care crisis uh, that exists today. Uh, the member and I served together uh, on the Select Standing Committee on Finance and Government Services, and I know he is passionate about saving our public health care system, as am I. The Finance Committee has heard such moving stories from all over the province, from people who feel let down by that system. But we also heard moving stories that gave us hope. We heard from frontline healthcare practitioners and their organizations who made recommendations based on their expertise. And so many of their recommendations addressed the importance of preventative measures. Nurses have been on the front lines of the pandemic response since day one and have been absolutely vital in ensuring that we can continue to care for patients in hospitals and in the community. They have been instrumental in keeping emergency rooms and urgent care open and helping us catch up on surgeries and complete more and more every day and successfully deliver several major provincial immunization campaigns over the last two and a half years. We know our nurses are tired, they're burnt out, and we are dealing with a health care worker shortage just like every jurisdiction in the world. Our government is committed to recruiting and retaining health care workers and redesigning our health care system. It's important to recognize the steps we've made, given the situation we took on while acknowledging the strains that have been placed on the health care system by COVID-19 and the overdose crisis. In terms of investments into recruiting and retaining nurses, we recently announced a health human resources strategy that addresses many of the issues that affect nurses. From 2017 to 2021, our government added 2,839 care aides and community health workers. That's a 10, uh, over a 10% growth. Uh, uh, 1,662 licensed practical nurses, that's over a 17% growth. 166 nurse practitioners, over a 40% growth. 4,062 registered nurses were added, that's 11% growth. In uh, 2017, BC had the lowest number of nurses per capita of the 10 provinces. We are now leading the country in adding registered nurses. In February 2022, 20, uh, we added 602 nursing seats in post-secondary institutions to the approximately 2,000 seats currently. This is an increase of more than 30%. In April 2022, the Ministry announced an investment of $12 million to support internationally educated nurses to practice here in BC by simplifying the application and assessment processes for IEN candidates, offering approximately $9 million in bursaries to help with assessment fees and creating new nurse navigator positions to help IENs navigate the assessment and licensing process. This includes funding to support the BC College of Nurses and Midwives to streamline the regulatory assessment pathways so IENs can be assessed for multiple professions simultaneously, reducing red tape and cost and time. We know that nurses and other frontline um, healthcare professionals are bearing the brunt of an intense societal trauma. And that's why we are hiring protective service officers to support the safety of our healthcare workers uh, in the healthcare system. Now, I see that I am uh, into my last minute. And so I'll stop there in terms of listing the things that we have done so far um, to support the healthcare system. So let me conclude by reminding us that public services around the world have been put on a fad diet for the last 40 years. It's called austerity. And this austerity diet has starved social services, including health care. And decades of austerity have left public bodies too weakened to withstand the shocks to the system, such as the pandemic and opioid crisis. We are working hard to help our health care system regain its strength. I urge us all to remember that it will take time, patience, and significant resources before it's back on its feet again. 
In the meantime, agency nurses are part of the recovery. Thank you.